Uh, hello, AGDQ 2024. Hi, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hello. Uh, I am super excited to show off uh, one of my favorite generations, Pokemon Generation 4, in my favorite region, the Sinnoh region, uh, in a super glitchy and silly way. So the first thing we're going to do is some RNG manipulation. I'm going to try to just get into it quickly, and then we can explain it as we go. So uh, basically, I need to enter the game at a very specific second, and then I need to enter the actual game past the intro at a very specific frame. So give me one second here as I line this up. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is normal Pokemon intro. This is Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Uh, just really quickly explaining RNG Manip stuff. I just need to enter the um, main game by pressing A at the TV screen. Uh, frame perfectly, it's a 30 FPS Manip. Uh, I'm going to try to hit it two times. If I don't get it either time, I have a backup loaded, and I'll just switch to that. Uh, I just hit it right before we started. But while we do this intro, uh, my name is Echi. I've been a Pokemon speedrunner for about four years now. Uh, primarily run a lot of DS games and some of the Switch games as well. Uh, probably most well known for like Platinum and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, can my commentators introduce themselves? Maybe starting with May. Hello, I'm Corva May. I have a Pokemon speedrunner of sorts. I mostly, I mostly do 3DS stuff. Uh, but I've done this one before, and I've done a couple other ones before. And I was here earlier this week doing a game that is kind of like Pokemon, but different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Etiquette. I primarily do Switch Pokemon games now, but I've definitely dabbled in pretty much every generation. So uh, happy to be here. Yeah, and uh, I'm Shenanigans. I ran Crystal yesterday uh, with Chris. But yeah, that run was very fun. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, I mostly just do pretty much every game. We're coming up, though, on a little bit of serious time here. We have a frame-perfect A-Press. Yes. yes, we can get some quiet time for the next five or so, ten seconds. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't e feel great about that. Actually, gets the top. <laughs> Nobody else does. Uh, uh, yeah. So I'm looking for a specific trainer ID because that denotes which RNG frame I hit. So if we just got it, that would be really cool. We did get it. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Yes. First try. That's First awesome. Try. All right. So normal Pokemon options stuff. Uh, I'll try to explain a lot of the RNG Minip stuff in this early section where we're basically just walking from place to place anyway until we do some, uh, until we get our first Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, RNG manipulation is very complicated in this game and it took me a long time to understand it. Uh, basically what RNG manipulation looks like is just doing perfect movement for however long you need to do it. And perfect is in quotations. Uh, there's some leniency, but if you don't know exactly how it works, uh, then there is no leniency. So, uh, <laughs> you, the... You typically don't check, check trainer ID the way I did um, for this run. Uh, you can actually tell which RNG seed you're on by just the NPC movement, because it always moves the same way if you're always on the exact same RNG frame. So uh, on a normal PB attempt, I would just look at the NPCs there and then reset. But it's a lot faster to just check the trainer ID. I'm so glad I hit it, because I was like freaking out trying to hit it on this backup DS <laughs> yeah. beforehand. <laughs> I like got it literally 30 seconds before we were like getting ready. I was so panicked. Oh, I don't no. know if y'all can see this, but his setup is like so elaborate <laughs> right now. He has two DSs because there's the backup DS and his laptop where he has the timer tool that he used to hit that manip. Yep. And then Etiquette has another spare <laughs> DS in case yeah. of emergency. Yeah. I brought a third DS on top of those other three. That, the, Etiquette has a three DS. I have an extra th regular DS. I have capture cards. It's really annoying and expensive. Anyways, <laughs> he broke into my house and stole multiple copies of my Gen Four game. I have I have like six copies of Diamond yeah. Pearl uh, in various languages currently on me. But we are coming up now on getting our starter Pokemon. I didn't mess up the movement, so we are guaranteed to get the perfect Chimchar. Yep. Uh, perfect is in quotes there. There's it's consequences of Gen 4 RNG and the way it works. You basically can't guarantee that you get like perfect stats in this Chimchar. Uh, but there's a lot of things I'm looking for in this Chimchar. Uh, I'm looking for really good stats, not necessarily perfect, just really good. Uh, if you haven't noticed, the estimate for this run's only an hour, so I'm not actually getting all eight badges. I'm not getting uh, through the Elite Four, <laughs> but I will enter the Hall of Fame uh, very, very fast. So yeah, we don't counts. actually need the perfect Pokemon to beat all the peep, uh, gym leaders as fast as possible. We just need a good enough one. And a good enough Chimchar basically just looks like High, really high stats and everything. It's going to be plus speed in nature, and we'll talk about why later. It's going to be hasty specifically for those who know. Uh, it's minus special defense, which is because we just don't really care about getting hit by special attacking moves in the run. And um, it's pretty much all you really need to know. Wait, hasty is minus I, defense. Oh, sorry, uh, naive. Naive is what I meant. Naive. Um, okay. I do want to quickly mention that uh, Etchy hinted at it, but that one hour, 10 minute estimate is not a mistake. This game will seem <laughs> yeah. like it's progressing normally, <laughs> and then it will suddenly end. Yes. We really, really do want to see that glitch exhibition. Oh, absolutely. Yes. So please yeah. get those donations in for that. Yeah, yeah so we're super close. This, this keep is, it coming. This in is fact, a, yeah. 
I actually have a challenge, and that is oh. uh, Mr. Game and Shout, our lovely host, told us uh, he doesn't know anything about Pokemon. May, what yeah. are you doing to me? So I want <laughs> you, nothing about Pokemon. I want you to donate either the name of a Pokemon or a prescription medication. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make our donation vetters like work so hard. Thank you so much to the donation vetters who will have to go through this. And then Shout will guess for us. Yeah. <laughs> I have some here. We'll get to it later. We will get to that later, yeah. And uh, regardless, I highly recommend uh, just submitting your favorite Pokemon. You can do the, de the yes. classic Dex donation thing. Definitely recommend anything like Gen 8 and up because Shout definitely won't know what those Pokemon are and will probably <laughs> mess up pronouncing them. So yeah. please do that. I'm feeling the love over here, I got to tell you. <laughs> Um, I, I work with Shout on the regularly, so I can be I can bully him a little bit. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, do you want to do a couple donations now? It's a good time. Absolutely, we already got him coming in. Twenty dollars from Sandy Beach underscore Ooh. IRL saying, "Hey Etchy, how's the run?" <laughs> yeah, the run is okay. <laughs> and, they, and they were already start, <laughs> and they were already starting on those Pokedex. Uh, we've got right. twenty eight twenty from Zofax. Pokedex donation time. Got to go with Gardevoir here. Keep up the good work and let's beat cancer. One for one, let's go. <laughs> we can do a couple more. All right. Uh, let's go with $10 here from Shep. Hey, Etchy, super cool to see this run at GDQ. Good luck, good luck, and let's see that glitch exhibition. Yes, please. Yeah, we are still good. moving on that. Now over $24,000. Oh, we're the so close. that we need. Keep it coming. Please, please. we got to see it. You do not mm -hmm. want to miss this. It is It is so cool. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So much effort uh, went into making this happen, and... Um, I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> the things that are in it. It's you like, had to steal all those diamond and pearl, pearl parts. Yeah, 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 exactly. For reason. Don't make it for nothing. Uh, <laughs> so RNG manipulation basically just means we do really weird movements. So I'm going to yep. do some back and forth here. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to explain it a little bit more later when, uh, when we get to Jubilife probably. But basically, if I'm taking really weird paths through the grass, for example, or just in towns, it's because of the RNG manipulation. Mm -hmm. All you really need to know is that, like, if I'm always on the same starting RNG frame and I always do the exact same inputs, I'll always get the exact same outcomes. So the outcomes yep. I'm looking for are like, like I said, the really good Chimchar, I'm looking for no encounters in the grass or as, as few as possible. Um, and then later on, I'll try to specifically manipulate spinning trainers so that I just pass them perfectly and super fast uh, consistently. Yeah, I should also mention that I, I do need the Chimchar nickname now. Oh, true, yeah, yeah. Bringing that up right now. Chimchar's nickname looks like our winner is Pomu. P O M U. Ooh, right. four All characters. Right. That's pretty strong. That's time save. That's time save. Let's Ooh. go. Yeah, um, if you didn't notice in the first battle with that Starly, uh, this game's really slow. <laughs> the text is ridiculously slow, and it's actually hilarious because uh, I have a copy of Japanese Pearl with me, and that game is lightning fast. Uh, something went wonky with the localization, I guess, but uh, the text is like half as fast in this version of the game. Uh, they do fix it a little bit in plot. The text a little bit faster, and the battle engine's a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And when I'll actually do a live demonstration of how slow the battles really can be, uh, when we get to the caption yep. tutorial in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was gonna mention that uh, when we're talking about this RNG minip, there's separate battle and overworld RNG effectively. So uh, the battles aren't going to be manipulated, but all the overworld stuff is. So yeah. the battles are actually going to be uh, kind of the complicated part of a lot of this. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting because in Diamond and Pearl specifically, um, all of the, the single battles are completely random AI. Yeah. Even, yeah. even yeah. Cynthia at the end of the game, like every single trainer is just completely random AI. Yep. Except um, for double battles, but they're also not like, I wouldn't call them smart AI, but they are smarter. They're different yes. AI. They're different. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I mean, it's worth remembering that these were the first games on the DS. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. And like, they did a lot of like, they, these games look very different than the Game Boy Advance series of games. And a yeah. lot of that got figured out in Platinum. Yeah. All right, so doing a shop here, uh, gonna grab some potions, some antidotes, some paralyzed heals. Uh, kind of important to note that World Record Route doesn't actually do this shop. In fact, World Record Route does not shop at all. It is much riskier, which is why I'm not doing it. It basically involves doing a completely different manip that skips the marts, picks up like one or two potions, and that's like all you're kind of riding on the entire run. So it involves trying to like int intentionally get very lucky with the fights where you don't need to heal a lot. Um, yeah, I, that I is not safe. So I don't I'm not know if we that. mentioned that battle RNG does not work the same as overworld RNG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the fights are still random. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we're still. Uh, Yay. Kind of, we're still at the whims of our... Like, you can't really get away from randomness in Pokemon. No, nope. true. It's impossible. True. Also, it's interesting, too, because you can actually manipulate the battle RNG in, like, Platinum and Heart Gold Soul Silver very easily by doing, like, save and quit um, 
manips. Yep. Um, they're just not really RTA viable most of the time because of how slow saving is in this game, which mm -hmm. we'll see later. Yes, we will. But um, in Diamond and Pearl, uh, it's basically in Platinum and HeartGold, Soul Silver, when you get into a battle and it's like your turn and you're trying to pick an action, your, your battle energy is already determined, and whatever action you do already has like a predetermined outcome. But in this game, every single frame the game is running, RNG is advancing in battle, including like lag frames that you can't like predict. Um, so we just don't manipulate any battles. And it's kind of cool because the game just feels more random because sometimes you can get like crit clusters or just constantly get like the same kind of similar outcomes when you're running Platinum Nips. And uh, it sucks. And I've lost a lot of runs to like the first <laughs> catch of Platinum. So yeah. uh, this game's quite a bit nicer. So going to go up Are we have lost here. video feed? Yes. Oh. Uh, it seems like the computer has completely shut down. <laughs> Uh, um, I will keep running for now. Yeah, so as you I can does, get into the catch tutorial and then hold it, so I'll just wait. Okay, okay. yeah, one, once that right, cool. reaches the catch tutorial, the, R and, the overworld RNG Yeah, so I'm, I'm already stopped, so we can... We can still hear it, so the computer's still on. Oh, yeah. the computer... Wait, oh. Did we just lose oh, the computer is on. Did we lose the monitors, maybe? Weird. Okay, can y'all oh. out there, can Oh, see? they're just went to oh, sleep. They went to bed! We're back! We're back! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can y'all um, see? Yeah, let me know. Okay, they're saying they can. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right, so this is a little bonus sort of thing that uh, Etchy now has considered his run, which is to move the mouse every, yeah. every okay. like five so minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I love more. I love more work. <laughs> Just um, one extra thing. <laughs> so here's an, a demonstration of how slow battles can be in this game. Uh, you actually are supposed to mash in these battles to make the damage register faster. So if you just watch here, I'm not going to mash. I'm not going to press anything. Just watch how long it takes for the damage to register. Okay? And then here's what it is when I actually like mash through it. Much faster. So you yeah. do have to mash through all the battles. It kind of sucks, but... Uh, they fixed this in Platinum and HeartGold Silver. Those games, like I said, run quite a bit faster, although the HP is still very, very slow. Can we get some donations in during the last of the catch tutorial? Yes. Absolutely. And as a side note, we have just crossed $900,000. Wow. Keep it coming, y'all. We are also over $30,000 for the Glitch Oh, my goodness. Let's Let's go. Go. Keep it going. Keep it going. And oh, okay. my God, the Pokemon or Drugs donations are coming in, and I don't <laughs> know what to do with yeah. them. So let's start going through these here. Um, I have a $5 donation from Greta Ice Vixen. Hi, Etchy. Best of luck on the run. I'm honestly not sure if I would have started speedrunning if not for you. Aww. The butterfly Aww. effect from meeting you is wild. Thanks for being a great friend and a great runner. You deserve all this and more. Thank you, Greta. The that is amazing. The Pokedex donations are also coming in with a $429 donation from JD the Bud. A Dex donation for my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, Miss Magius. I hope I pronounced that right. And then... That was good. That was That's good. Exactly All right. good. And y'all are really trying to throw me here. Okay. $25 from RachelGuy72. I love a challenge. I have Clastion. Pokemon or prescription. <laughs> and they were kind because they added answer. Clastion can be used to treat cancer that has spread to bones oh, due to different oh, types of tumors. Cool. Sounds like Today we learned. Honest. Today we learned. All right. All right. So this is the one of the worst fights in the entire run, and yep. it has gone as bad and as it's supposed to. Turn one growl. Uh, this Starly is a monster. Uh, who wants to explain damage rolls while this fight goes on? So every single time you do damage, I, I, I feel like I'm obligated to explain yeah, damage. Yeah, on, for on it. Every time you, uh, if, so d damage in Pokemon is complicated. A lot of different factors go into determining exactly how much damage gets dealt, and one of those is the randomization factor, and that is a number from 85 to 100 for 16 different uh, discrete values. Uh, and that is a percentage that is multiplied and then rounded down at one point in the damage formula. So that means that uh, there are 16 discrete values that any uh, attack can deal, um, which is where a lot of the variance in Pokemon actually comes from and what makes the battle system feel so dynamic is because you're tr uh, you want to hit high rolls, usually, yeah. and you want them to hit low rolls, usually. Sometimes it's a little weird depending on like... Situational. Abilities yeah. and stuff, situational <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, that fight is also really. I, that fight is the the growl fight, right? The what fight? The growl fight. Yeah. 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 So that fight just, is really. It bad. just keeps spamming growl, and then you just keep doing less damage. Uh, uh, the the funny thing with damage rolls I wanted to bring up with that fight is that uh, so that Starly knows tackle and quick attack. Tackle is thirty five base power in this game, and quick attack is forty. And in like every other run I do with every other starter uh, for platinum or this game, uh, they always do the same damage because they're so close in you know damage value. Except this run where Quick Attack does like double the damage of Tackle because of the nature yeah. of the damage calculation formula. It's really scary yeah. and it's just awful. how the rounding works. Yeah, yeah it's very yeah. strange. Um, 
Uh, also, the, the reason why that growl was so rough too is because of how combat stages work in this game. Um, mm -hmm. When it says that like your stat, like attack was lowered, that means that uh, essentially it is lowering your um, stat by roughly 33%. And that continues to get worse and worse and worse. Um, when you yeah. go up, it's about 50% up. When you go down, it's about 30% down. Yeah, oh boy, the, we're below a third HP as well. Yeah, oh, who wants yep. to explain oh, Blaze? No. There's so yeah. much to explain. I, right. I know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're just going to keep going. We keep going. I'll, I'll explain Blaze, but I want to just mention, just for anyone who's curious, so you can basically think of the stat stages as starting at 2 over 2, and every time it goes yep. down, it increases the bottom number. Anytime it goes up, it increases the top number. By number one. go up, good. Number yeah. go down, bad. So, yep. so Blaze. Uh, Wait, let's do rivalry first, because it's the only time it matters. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right, all right. 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to safety heal here, just in case I get crit, so this is this is fine, yeah. Yeah, so you might notice that uh, this is a male Shinx and a female, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, Chimchar. So uh, this Shinx has rivalry, the ability, and if you're the same gender, then you'll deal, I believe it's like 1.3x damage. Something uh, like that. And yeah, because we are different, that will not be the case. So you take less damage, and that matters at top end runs because sometimes you're going to this fight on one HP. It's like, well, yeah. I guess I have to crit now. Yeah. I've been running PBR, and you'd be surprised how often rivalry comes up in that. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it hap it's so important. That's All interesting. Right. Uh, yeah. So quick blaze, and then we got to go quick right, to yeah. hidden power. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So, so blaze. Blaze, uh, basically all the starters have the same ability just for the different types. Uh, blaze, overgrow, or torrent. Blaze is going to be whenever you are at one-third health or lower. Um, your fire type moves are going to be 50% stronger. So it's it's a careful balance of I want to stay low health, yep. so that way I can deal more damage, but I also don't want to die. Yeah, we, we get Ember pretty early on Chimchar. Yeah. It's really nice to get it there. Yep. Okay, hidden power. <laughs> hidden power is a move. I am so sorry in advance, and I promise the explanations will stop soon. Uh, hidden power is We're in the school. It's what this run is built around. We're able to get it by finding these two trainers on the right. In Gen 3, hidden power works roughly the same, but it's slightly different. Ignore it. It doesn't matter. In Gen 4, <laughs> the way it works is that the game looks at the least significant bit of each IV, which essentially you can consider as one if it's odd or zero if it's even. It then applies all of those to a formula to, to get a, re a value from 0 to 18, 16, how many types? 16. Oh, I didn't see whatever. 0 16, to 16. Yeah. And because, yeah. And it uses that, it goes against a table to figure out what type the move is going to be. Secondly, it then takes the second least significant bit. That is a one if it is the if the remainder when you divide it by four is two or three. <laughs> so, and then it puts all of those into uh, a formula. Keep going, yep. And then it uses that to. Um, it, it takes that number and then it multiplies it by 40 over 63 and adds 30 to it to get a value between 30 and 70. And yeah. it uses that to determine the power. In this, this Chimchar is grass, grass type yeah. 69 base power. Yep. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, can we get an applause for May thank for that you, explanation? Uh, you. you don't really need to know how that works. <laughs> the dumbed down version that I always remember is like if the fence is an odd uh, IV, you add 32. Yeah, and that's then the main. attack, you add 16, yeah. Yeah. and then so on and, and so um, forth. It's, it, these, these Abras, for example, um, all the Abras we see in this run, they all have hidden power, and they're all flat zero IVs across the board. Yep. So they all have fighting uh, 30 base power. Yeah, so pretty easy to deal I want, with. I want you all to know that when you go to Bulbapedia to look up hidden power, it just says, hidden power deals damage. <laughs> and then there is a link to an entire another page oh that God. explains <laughs> the math. <laughs> Yeah, so, so one of the interesting things about Hidden Power, so there is a category um, that, that's becoming a lot more popular uh, where it's manipulous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to do any of that RNG manipulation, but because of that, uh, the Chimchar you get is going to be completely random. So yeah. your Hidden Power and your stats and all that's going to be completely random. And so you actually still will get it uh, because it can be really useful, and you'll see why later. We actually use it pretty much for like two fights, uh, but it is incredibly yeah, powerful. Yeah, for massive those. for those two um, fights. And so there's an extra element in those Manipolis runs, uh, which by the way are super approachable. I definitely yeah, highly I've run, recommend I've run the Manipolis version of, the, of this run. There's a hidden power route. There's also a no hidden power yeah. route. They're both like, you could like graduate from one to the other because other, they're not that different. Yeah, I recommend yeah. it uh, if you are interested in getting into Gen 4 runs. I think it's the most approachable Gen 4 run. Yeah, and so if you're doing Manipolis and you're teaching Hidden Power, what you're actually going to do is on this next fight, uh, you're going to be using Hidden Power, even if you don't need to, just to try and determine what the type is. Because these IVs that are the calculation uh, for Hidden Power, those are hidden values. We don't get to yeah. see them. Yep. All right. Um, um, so I uh, I have not dropped my RNG Manip yet, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's actually totally fine if I drop it from this point. As long as I have the Chim Char, that's all that really matters. Uh, so just kind of explaining a little bit more what I was talking about with um, 
the way RNG Minip works. Basically, like I technically have to have perfect movement here, but I don't need like actually perfect movement and like the perfect path every time. I just need to basically waste the same amount of time in certain areas uh, consistently. So like there you saw me just run into that guy until he moved. Uh, basically, in normal RNG manipulation areas, you can kind of just always run and then uh, you're always taking the same amount of time because movement always takes the same amount of time. But because I have to talk to these clowns, uh, it's variable what frame I talk to each of them That's on. That's what he always says when we're on couch. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to these. Okay, clowns. who wants to be campaign clown one, two, and three? That's so me. <laughs> um, so think... yeah, so I just basically I just bonk into some people, and we'll actually come back here and uh, elaborate on a little bit more towards the end of the run. But you can basically imagine the game being broken up into quadrants, uh, separated by these things called load lines. And the the idea between the bonk or behind the bonking and the RNG manip is just to spend about the same amount of time in each quadrant. Um, consistently to make sure you always get the same outcome. So did another bonk there, and now we're into the rival fight. And this fight is just, I'm going to use Ember. Uh, the Starly likes to troll and waste time, but I healed up, so I'm super safe here. The only thing that's kind of interesting here is that like Barry likes to talk sometimes. Uh, <laughs> so if you actually crit one-shot the Starly, you do a different strat on the Piplup. Uh, if you have a normal two-shot Starly, you do a different strat as well. So uh, we'll see what happens here, and then I'll explain it. Quick attack's fine. Ideally, you see Growl after this. OK, I did not get the crit. So because so you saw Barry talk there. Uh, did not get Growl. So what I can do is I can do a Scratch and then a Hidden Power. Uh, hidden Power again, Grass-type. So super effective against Piplup, but it doesn't one-shot. So you would think you want to do the Hidden Power to crit, or have the crit chance and get the one-shot, but uh, if you knock the Piplup to low HP, Barry will talk again, and we don't want to see that. So, uh, if you actually crit one shot Starly, Barry will talk regardless, no matter what. So then you always just uh, hit him power if that happens. Yeah. All right. So after this, I'm just going to do some more movement and some more uh, RNG manipulation. So can I give shout the warm up quiz? Yes, please. All right. Are you ready? I'm Pokemon ready. or prescription drug? Okay, hit me. Blacephalon. Yes. I'm guessing Pokemon. That is correct. Okay. Ooh. Lunala. Ooh, okay. Lunala. That would be a Pokemon. That's correct. Okay. Relor. That sounds like a prescription. That's a Pokemon. Oh. A Selgor. A what? A Selgor. Gesundheit. Um, <laughs> I will say Pokemon. That is a Pokemon. Okay. Pikachu. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a Pokemon. Even I get that one. Uh, Zygarde. Zygarde. Ooh. Prescription? Nope, that was a Pokemon. Are these all Pokemon names? That's Pathra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pokemon? Correct. Dynam. Dynam. Uh, Pokemon. Trick question. That's a Pokemon what? speedrunner. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please get us some more donations, show. I have so many of them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a $5 donation from Dijon Ketchup with a question that I have been asking for days. This is a great run, but how will I know what's going on without Corvame holding up poster <laughs> boards of information? <laughs> Yeah, it started on the hidden Multiple power people poster asked board, me, yeah. and it was it was too big. Yeah, you couldn't fit it in the yeah. in the room. Honestly, it's e it's way easier the damage. <laughs> I've also got a one thousand dollar donation from Sean D. Wow. Four. Nine hundred thousand. Also glitch exhibition, and yes, we are under a thousand dollars away from that. Please. Oh, we're oh wow, so close. Oh, we're so close. Let's uh -huh. do it, gamers. And I'm going to close out with a donation from Fan Gamer for ten thousand dollars, saying, "Hey, everybody." Fan gamer here. This is a Dex number donation, so please welcome our stampede of 10,000 Bulbasaur. Who doesn't love that little guy? Keep the Dex donations coming. This has been made possible thanks to everyone who has shopped the Fan Gamer AGDQ 2024 merch collection, where 100% of the profits from sales get turned into donations that benefit the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You have until the end of the event to support a great cause by picking up some awesome merch. Check out the full lineup at fangamer.com slash GDQ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Fan Gamer. Tangled angos. Uh, so, summary of what just <laughs> happened there. Uh, before we can enter Rourke's gym, the first gym leader, we had to go talk to him in the the Orberg mine. He also just gave us the Rock Smash TM. I'm going to heal up again just for uber safety. Um, actually, I really didn't need to even there. I'm, I am like overhealing because I'm just so scared of what could <laughs> yeah. happen. Yeah. Uh, because I actually have my nip up, I'm going to safety save in front of Rorik. Uh, technically, the faster, more optimal thing, optimal thing to do for marathons is to just uh, enter the center here in case I die. Because then if I if I do uh, white out, I, get all, I keep all the experience and I can just go back in and it's even better. Um, so we're going to see exactly how slow saving is in this oh game. Oh my goodness, Who's it excited? takes so long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah, give us a donation during the saving. Please. We're 200. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I think I can grab some here. Uh, let's do a 
$25 donation from New Amber. Xerneas, Pokemon or prescription drug? Good luck, Ooh. Etchy. Uh, I'm guessing Pokemon on that one. That's correct. Okay, cool. Also a uh, $50 donation from Railkun. Hey, Etchy, you're doing great. This is a reminder to move the mouse so the monitor doesn't go to sleep. Thank you. Oh, Thank right. You. Thank you, Ray. Huge Thank, you. Thank you, Ray. It's been a while, so... <laughs> <laughs> That was honestly that might have been like a minute before it was gonna happen. Again. Yeah, we yeah. do need mouse donations, so please keep those yes, coming. Yes, what well, you so have often. to understand is that the mouse is also part of the manip. Yes, right. Yeah. So this is Rorik, the first gym leader, and this is like the biggest reason we manip this very specific hidden power. Yep. Um, grass is very good against rock and ground types. Did you did you know that? No, <laughs> okay. my hop never told me. Uh, so yeah, so we're four X effective against this. Uh, I almost call it a Brock. Geodude, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the Onyx. Uh, but we are not Forex effective against uh, Rorix Ace, a Kranidos. Mm -hmm. Kranidos is a terrifying Pokemon. It only knows three moves. Pursuit, Leer, and Headbutt. Headbutt is terrifying, and that's actually the entire reason we manip a plus speed Chimchar. Yeah. It allows us to outspeed. That way we don't risk Headbutt flinch chance at all. Uh, this is normally a three-turn, three-shot on the Kranidos because it's going to use a potion. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just going to get the magical crit here because I'm very lucky <laughs> and I'm going to get Marathon Luck, so check it out. There's like a whole 30-minute video essay on how Kranidos is like, uh, and its evolution are like completely flawed in competitive play. Yeah. You would not know it if you speed ran yeah, Gen yeah. 4. Reminder, yeah. this Kranidos, I believe, has the same base attack as Nether awesome. Gross. Like, I'm yeah, not joking. It's absurd. Yeah, it's absurd. Yeah. And then this is just a base form Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. it's just here on the first gym. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is terrifying in Platinum. Uh, this fight is much scarier in Platinum uh, if you're doing the Piplup route. If you're doing the Chimchar route, you actually just evolve to Monferno. Yep. Except yeah. for the newer Platinum Any% percent Glitched route, which we'll talk about a little bit too. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's work, by the way. Very easy, very safe. Just, yeah, yeah. I could have gotten crit there, so I had to save. And I, then I would have gone all the way back to Mom, and that would have taken forever. Yeah, so. crit just literally KOs you from full. Yeah. yeah. There's just no counterplay. Yeah, if you want to see what happens if you are slower than that Kranidos, watch a BDSP run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, so Platinum Any% percent Glitched is a much longer run because they patched like a lot of the Void stuff, which we haven't talked about yet, but we'll get into later. Uh, but the new route for it actually does like a save equipment up to just basically force Rourke to miss like 17 rock throws, and you get like crits and defense drops for free all the time. It's really cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, you want some more time on stage up there, Etchy? Yes. Because they just hit the glitch exhibition. Yeah. Oh, we got oh. it! Right as we talk about the void, too. They knew. I know, right? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So uh, I do have Manip still going, which means I am going to go for the extended Manip, so I am going to skip the shop here. If I mess up the Manip, it's totally fine. I just go back and shop. Worst case scenario, I like hit a trainer. Uh, but this next part is incredibly difficult after yep. uh, I, my monkey evolves into a bigger monkey. So Yeah, once we get back to Jubilee. I'm actually going to take an intentional turn frame here just to advance RNG one more time, just to uh, keep my RNG aligned with where I need it to be. And I'm going to do some kind of tricky movement. It's, it's like one extra movement, but I always mess it up, so I'm going to focus a little bit for this part. Once I get into the fight, we can chill. I'm always very impressed with uh, Gen 4 Runner's movement, because I mm -hmm. am like really sloppy yeah, in, the, in the Gen nice. 4 uh, engine. That looks really dumb, but I swear. <laughs> like, I, yeah. It's very easy to mess it up, because like people move at the same time you move. Yeah, it's all very calculated, because you always yeah. you always move at the same speed, so you're spending the same amount of time in each area is kind of the idea behind it. Yep. Uh, so TLDR of what just happened here, our Professor Rowan and our buddy Lucas are stopping some deviant goons from Team Galactic, um, <laughs> which will never resolve the plot of, by the way. Those They're just going to live forever, I guess. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, this fight's very straightforward, because in Diamond and Pearl, Team Galactic's kind of a joke uh, when you're running the Firestarter because they all have like Wurmples and Cascoons and just like the weakest bug Pokemon ever. In Platinum, they fix it and they actually have like much better Pokemon. They have a lot of Skun Tanks in early game, which are very annoying and surprisingly strong. Uh, we just hit level 14, so I'll get my very Monkey funny cry, Evo. With, uh, Skun Tank? Yeah. Oh, we'll see Skun Tank. Sorry, Stunky is what you'll see a lot, but we are going to hear a Skun Tank later. Yeah. Absorb is so slow. Why would you do that? <laughs> And the HP is coming back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So once this is done, I'm going to evolve into a monkey. You already are a monkey. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't get the absorb. This is like the first time this happened in weeks. So that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario for the fight. Please tackle Unless. Okay. Thank you. I, I, was, I was sure I was going to miss there. Don't crit there. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that earlier. Um, so yeah, we're going to evolve into Monferno. You learn a move called Mock Punch on Evolution. It is a um, 40 base power fighting move, which is great because Monferno is fire fighting type. So mm -hmm. uh, we get that same type, of type, same type attack bonus, uh, which we didn't really mention earlier, but if you use a move that is the same type as your Pokemon, you get 50% more power, super powerful, super useful. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead and teach Mach Punch over Hidden Power, which, while was a very good move, uh, Grass is completely useless from now on. Yep. So we're going to get rid of it. Because you got to understand, we're reaching the back half of the run now. Yeah. 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 So it's funny, Mach Punch is only clicked like maybe once as right. well. But yeah. there's a so, very important reason for it. Yeah. Also, this is probably a good time for serious time. This yes. is actually kind of the hardest part of the minute. Yeah. If I mess it up, it's, a, it's whatever. But I would like to hit it. So yeah. I have to mash very not badly here. Um, and then this is called the fashion case extended part or fashion case manip, however you want to call it. But basically, I'm going to get fashion case from this guy from Jubilife TV. Fashion case is completely useless because it's just for like dressing up for Pokemon and we're speedrunners are going to do that. But uh, the RNG advances very rapidly when you accept it. So I have a specific 20 frame, 21 frame window to press the A button here. So I have to time this. Uh, that might have been a little fast, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think I've ever messed it up because it is very generous. So yeah, twenty frames. And now I need to focus. So hold on. Almost a second. Yeah, yeah this movement. It's gonna this look is, really stupid. This is really yeah. I I love Gen Four uh, movement. There's so much just Dawn running back and forth. We got it. Cool. Nice. Let's go. Nice. All right, it's still not over. There's still, there's there's still, still more one stuff very to do, hard part, and I want to ideally keep Manip going for uh, another like 15 minutes, I want to say. Something like yeah. That. All right, so all the, again the here. forest in, potentially. All right, another this is right literally here. the hardest part. Let's go! Yeah, yes. that's, that's impressive. You have to run for what is it, one tile? Yeah, one yeah, tile. One tile. Yeah. yeah, which is so much easier said than done. And mm. now we're at the best part of Sinnoh. <laughs> okay, we're almost at the best part of Sinnoh. A little bit farther to the right for you. Wait, we're at the snow route? Oh, we're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving. No. Not yet. Soon we'll be there soon. Hopefully I didn't. It's I might have Friday. just dropped it there, but we'll it find could, out later. It could be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the Manif is on Friday, but it could be. It is, it is not. <laughs> no. <laughs> and like, it also like, it's, so she's alluding to Drifloon spawning, uh, but it also doesn't load in until like the day advances after you Oh, right. It, yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, think, more Team Galactic Grunts. Please give us more donations. Yep. I have got you all kinds of covered on that front. Let's go with a $399 donation from Anonymous, wow. donating for one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, Bidoof. Yeah. I love Bidoof. Yeah, keep keep the Pokedex donations coming. Uh, the medication donations are also coming, and they are <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> I'm uh, so sorry again. Keep going. <laughs> uh, no, please. Uh, $50 from Malnormaludo. One of these is a Pokemon. The rest are medications. Your move, Mr. Game and Shout. All right, we've got Magierna, Astaris, Estradiol, and Comernati. I recognize one of them, and it's not the Pokemon. <laughs> I'm going to guess Magierna? Magierna, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. go. Okay, cool. And finally, $50 in from Anonymous, a Haiku, Squirtle Benadryl. Albuterol, <laughs> Sunflora, Ritalin, Vulpix. They really changed the poker act since I last <laughs> <Yeah>. listened to it. <laughs> oh no. You're doing really good on this, I gotta say. Yeah, you're honestly. I, I'm respect. really good at guessing, that's all it is. <laughs> you can do a few more. Excellent. Uh, well, since I'm on the page, $25 from Mon or Med, Pokemon or Medicine, Vanillux. I'm guessing Pokemon on that one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, Thank you. $50 from Anonymous. Pokemon or prescription drug Victoza? Prescription? Yeah. It's not a Pokemon. Yeah, not yeah. a Pokemon. Look, I know, I know you don't know Pokemon. <laughs> so I, 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 don't know. I didn't play the epilogue of Scarlet Violet, so maybe it's in there. But. <laughs> and then let's take a $1,000 donation here Ooh. from Jordan S. Wow. wow. As a part of my culture's tradition, it is customary to donate around 3% of the money gifted to you after your wedding. I can't think of a better way to do this than through AGDQ, and no better run than Pokemon. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you, thank you. P.S. Goldengo's fine, but I personally prefer to think of this donation as 5.10204081633 espions. <laughs> great That's choice. It's great choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll allow it. I might have just dropped Manip there, but I'm just going to go for it anyway, and uh, we'll, we'll find out if it worked or not. Okay. Worst case, we read more donations. Oh, no. Oh, exactly. no. <laughs> Worst case, I had like an optional encounter. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're entering Valley Windworks now. 
once I clear I this fight. I love Valley Windworks. Valley By Windworks. the way, a reminder to save after this fight if you think Oh, thank you. Minute. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Also yes. move the mouse. Before entering. I guess if I, nah, I probably should just enter the. Move the mouse. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Valley Windworks is terrifying because Mars is here. Mars has a illegal Pokemon. Is yeah. There's a level 17 Progly, which is not supposed to happen. They don't evolve to like level 34 or whatever. Because uh, this game is really weird with it. And it's really powerful and really fast. It is like the one thing we don't outspeed in the run. So I'm going to save here again. The save will be much faster because we already did one save. Mars is why uh, they do uh, hack checks at, at VGC. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so that's done. Okay. Actually, yeah, I, I will know if I hit my nip right now. Yeah, with the spinner with the coming spinner, up. Yeah. So that, that's actually totally fine because the spinner just has a silicone, I think. Yep. And if we if the nip was dropped, there's there's still a consistent way to spinner pass in this game. So. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. We still have a nip, which you is awesome. You just can't miss. All right. Yeah. So this is Mars. <laughs> yes. Uh, terrifying. Uh, so I mentioned the Progly, which is bad, but it's actually not as bad as the Zubat. Zubat has yeah. Toxic. Toxic is like the slowest thing ever because this game is the slowest thing ever. Yeah, it and is. statuses are really slow in this <laughs> game. So ideally, it just uses bite the whole time, uh, which is slow because that's not very effective text, but way, way better than getting um, toxic. Uh, sometimes you can get blaze here and guarantee the two shot, but otherwise, this is, uh, that's a pretty that's good, a roll. good roll. Yeah. That's a good roll. Leech Life, that heals a little bit. Uh, uh, just roll, just high roll. That put it back in green. Yeah, <laughs> not, look, not, looking, not, not looking great. Not looking great for the two shot here. Let's just crit. do one more damage than last time. Ah, oh. oh, the least life mattered. Okay, okay that's no fine. toxic. Totally fine. The scary thing is like when you burn Very it great. here and then it toxics you, because then you're poisoned into Progly, and you really want to heal up before Progly, because uh, Progly can do a lot of damage if it randomly chooses those moves. Again, random AI. Mm -hmm. uh, if it uses Scratch or Fake Out, kind of sucks, but ideally it just uses Feign Attack a bunch, which uh, is dark type, so you resist it. Yeah, it's I'm going to start with Rock Smash here, because it has a 50% chance to... Dang it. 50% uh, chance. So God, much damage. Fake normal type. I had to Stand technically heal this because I could die to crit. Yep. Yeah, it's funny in BDSP because of good AI, it always fakes out, so you always just get a free heal there. But in this game, you kind of have to take that risk. Yep. So ideally, I get a Rock Smash here. This probably has an Auron Berry, so if you knock it below half, it'll heal up, and that stinks. Yeah. So the uh, defense drop here is really good for Rock Smash. Oh! oh! God. Wow. Oh. Okay, 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 hold on. So that, that okay, crit <laughs> 1 in 16, but because of the way the damage was work, it's only um, uh, 6 out of 16 to actually knock out there. So that was incredibly <laughs> unlikely. I, I, I don't learn this move. No. So 6 and 256? Yeah. Something like that, that yeah. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Math. Yeah. You did a hidden power math, so I trust you. Um, so yeah, that's Mars. I have to mash kind of fast here. And that means we still have Manip, which is awesome. And I will try to not mess up the movement after this. There's a, little, a slightly tricky part here, but we're actually almost done with the Manip movement. We're only going to carry the Manip through a turn of force, because uh, at that point, we just don't need um, to dodge any trainers. I hit the balloon yeah. Pokemon will come visiting again. I hope so, too. Um, so while I, I'm just going to focus on this movement first, and then we can do a donation or two, probably. So give me one second. Okay. All right, yeah, we can do a couple donations. Perfect. I've got $5 here from Crow Lion. Uh, this is your mouse reminder. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Greetings from Germany. I've got... Oh, okay. Um, I've got $25 here from Locus Cromwell. Medicine or Pokemon Bupropion. Let's get that glitch showcase. $5 donation train times five. I believe Bupropion is a medication. That's the steel type Eevee. No, no, no. no, no, no I'm I'm you got it right. You got it right. <laughs> there is so many. May? All these vacations just sound like evolution. I know. <laughs> That's so right. so funny. Uh, $25 from Kmosh. Pokemon or my oh. asthma inhaler. Brioelipida. Uh, Brioelipida. Um, Pokemon? It, really? All right. Inhaler. Audience says inhaler. Ah, all right. Well, let's end on a good note. $57 from Pastel Punk. The first speedrun I ever watched was Etchy playing through Gen 4 like it was a casual day. Nearly two and a half years later, and I'm so happy to see it being run again. Being a part of the community has had me seeing hilarious mistakes, cute pictures of puppies, and making friends I hope to one day meet in real life. I always love the favorite Pokemon donation train, so here's $57 for number 570, the little fox who can do no wrong, Zorua. Much love from Australia. Thank you, Marcel. Hey, this is a very uh, complicated fight. This is the worst fight, fight ever. I also think yeah. I dropped my nip right before it because I forgot the movement. But 
uh, which is actually a really bad spot to drop them in it. So we might get like four encounters, but it's fine. I'm actually, I'll probably just use the repel. Um, yeah. And then I just have to buy one before or burger later, which is not a big reasonable. Uh, so yeah, so basically this fight's terrifying because the Patrice can paralyze and likes to spam annoying moves like Charm, which uh, lowers your attack sharply. That Beautifly also has Gust, and uh, like we kind of mentioned earlier, double battles have slightly more intelligent AI. Oh, awesome. Annoying. Uh, it's not really smart AI, but they will just lean towards using the stronger moves, basically. I so. Chancy aim. I don't Come know on. The problem is you have your super helpful Chancy with you. Uh, I know. I, I am actually gonna. Paralyze heal here because yeah, we got rid of the beautiful fly. That's the biggest threat. As long as that's gone, I don't really care if I get paralyzed. Yeah, from that Gust point. does so much damage. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it literally does like twenty five. Oh my thing. goodness, the chance he almost got taken out there. So much. Oh, Never that's soft oil. Let's go. Good thing. It's also, healing. yeah. Uh, fun fact: in Gen Four, you can start in double battles to see uh, the actual numbers. Otherwise, I I can change it back to the HP bars. But you just press start. Very useful. Uh, the other strat for this fight is if you actually got knocked to lower HP on Mars. You'd have Blaze, which we mentioned earlier, gives you that boost to your or your fire moves. Uh, I was gonna say, did I get Blaze there? I did not. Dude, Dude stop. Every time. Oh, um, finally, Chansey's helping out a bit. I will. I cannot paralyze you because that's my last one. Yep, I'm just gonna go. Gotta hold it. Simply don't be paralyzed. It's yeah. that easy. And this is awkward because like I want to get hit, but I also don't want to die. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do want to get into Blaze. Okay. Oh, you know what? Someone. Actually. We're just gonna potion. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Yeah, Blaze helps for the next fight because then it's two one shots instead of two two shots, but barely matters. So, uh, this Chansey. Uh, Egg Bomb is 75% accurate, by the way. It's missed like every time. So. <laughs> yeah. oh, it always it hits does. one for four so far. It hit once. It's hitting inverse <laughs> odds, yes. It is just spamming soft boiled now. Please let me hit. Thank you. There's some damage, okay. All right. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really bad roll, unfortunately. Um, it's okay. Chansey's going to hit the, the the egg bomb. Let's okay. go. Told ya. Let's go. Uh, that still doesn't really save time. But <laughs> well. <laughs> All right. So here I'm going to try to go for a mock punch because that does sidestep the paralysis speed drop. Okay, we got it. We're through. This fight sucks so bad. This yeah, is like yeah. legitimately, you can just lose like your entire run to this fight. Not even to dying, but just getting trolled. Lose so much again. time. Yeah. yeah. Reminder that the uh, one of the routes does not even get any potions. So like you can imagine that fight with no healing. It's very awful. Yeah, but now so. we get a free full heal. Yay. Yay. Yeah. So this fight is uh, two Abras, and like I said, they, they have hidden power, they have fighting type hidden power. So ideally what happens is they just hit me instead of Chansey because it's less text, and then you also want Chansey to hit two Egg Bombs. Um, unfortunately, that never happens. That's not going to happen. Because my Embers will uh, effectively two-shot here, and uh, with Egg Bomb, we can kind of finish them off in two turns, but I kind of didn't even mention, but this is Cheryl, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> the partner. This is a partner, and it's actually going to be relevant for a glitch exhibition coming up soon. True. But uh, basically, all you need to know about partners is they follow you around. While they follow you, um, all the encounters you have are double battles. So if you go into the grass, you fight two Pokemon instead of one. Um, so it's actually pretty cool for like shiny hunting and stuff. And uh, every time you leave a battle, you fully heal. They're, your partner fully heals you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, Chansey getting hit. Oh! What's going on? Okay. okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Chansey I, heard. I, I apologize. I wasn't yeah. familiar with your game. Chansey <laughs> was like, hey, st stop, stop being insulting towards me. Yeah. I'm just, I guess I just go for the movement and see if I get an encounter. If I do, I'll just repel. Yeah. Uh, but I, there's like no way I have Manip still after what I did earlier. So we finally get a decent quote unquote fire move. We're going to get rid of Mach Punch because again, we don't need priority anymore. It doesn't matter. Uh, Flame Wheel is a 60 power physical fighting move and is uh, our, by far our strongest move. Super useful, and we're just going to spam it for a lot of this end game. So let's see if we have the Manip here. Ooh. Nope. nope. <laughs> All right. All right. That's still 30 minutes chance? of like perfect movement. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Can we get a round of applause for how long Edgy yeah, kept this great. Manip yeah. up? Yeah, so I just got to buy an extra repel later. Totally fine. Uh, Can we do some donations while you get out of this fight? Yes, please. Absolutely. Let's see what I got for you here. I've got a $50 donation from Jordan97. That's an interesting Sobble you're using for this speedrun. <laughs> $50 for six Sobbles plus a dollar four to round it up to a nice number. Also, hi, Etiquette. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. I I've, say hi to you. <laughs> I've got $33.20 from Pig underscore. Here's 33 and 20 cents for my favorite Pokemon, Celebrex. 
Or is it a Pokemon? Hmm, oh. I wonder. Come on, chat. We're so close to that one million. Let's hit it before the end of the Glitch Expo, why don't we? I mean, we're at 922,000. Y'all are flying on it, so please keep it coming. Shout, where's your guess? Oh, uh, Celebrex is, that's a medication, I believe. Yeah. Correct. Okay, cool. I thought it was Calyrex's pre <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there, there is a Calyrex. So. It's the psychic type uh, Calyrex. <laughs> right. So yeah. there, I, I just entered the center to basically set my death warp point. So if I do get really unlucky anywhere in this town, I will just revive back there, and it's totally fine. This is Gardenia's gym, grass-type gym leader. We are fire-type Pokemon. We're going to destroy her. But sometimes you can also just lose your run to her. It's really awesome. I love damage rolls. I love, yep. I love 15 out of 16 ranges. They're so cool. Oh, Anyways, no. um, this gym is mostly just spamming Flame Wheel. Uh, basically, the, the, this mechanic is different from the way it is in Platinum. Basically, you're playing hide and seek with these gym trainers, and every time you defeat one, a new one will hide somewhere else. Once you defeat all four, you get to uh, fight Gardenia, and then we'll talk about that fight when we get there. Um, if anyone needs suggestions, by the way, if you don't have like a favorite Pokemon, uh, I definitely recommend, like you can do dollar per like, Dex number, right? So you could do uh, my favorite Pokemon, Petra Run, which is yeah. 1025. Uh, definitely <laughs> can use that. Uh, but regardless, keep all the the names coming, and uh, we'll have the glitch exhibition up soon. So shout, please give us some more donations. I got you covered. Let's go with this one was good. Uh, 143 dollars from Compacta D. Pokedex donation and quiz. Which of the following is not a Pokemon? Snorlax, Miralax. Munchlax, keep up the good work. Uh, <laughs> that that would be Miralax. <laughs> but Actually, that's there's fine. a thing or two about Munchlax as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've a uh, brief aside. I did a really dumb speed run called Munchlax Plus or Munchlax. Yeah, Munchlax Plus, which is basically doing a run of platinum where you uh, get a Munchlax as early as possible and then use it as your main Pokemon, like this Chimchar or Monferno, uh, and just beat the game with it. And the only way to get Munchlax, the earliest way to get Munchlax in Platinum is uh, through the Honey Trees, which involves a lot of RNG manipulation because it's like one in 1,000 chance basically to get it normally. And you have to also wait for six hours. So I had to like, I ended up RNG manipulating multiple Pachirisus with the pickup ability so I could grind for rare candies using pickup on random encounters for the six hours while I waited. <laughs> and then I found out that that actually is slower because the way the game tracks the Honey Tree timers is like, basically gets messed up when you do random encounters. So I, it actually <laughs> lost me an hour doing that. It was really awesome. Um, Etchy has done a lot of uh, not, I, uh, I'm going to call them Silly. Gen 4 runs that I would not advise doing. Yeah. <laughs> For example, when uh, it's to get Spiritomb, yep. you have to do a whole bunch of, uh, you have to meet a bunch of people in the underground, which, re which resulted in him stealing all of my DSs, setting yep. up seven <laughs> DSs and seven <laughs> copies of the game all on Wi-Fi. Yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they all connect to each other, and you can just talk to the same seven people like 12 times, and then you unlock Spirit Tomb, and then you beat the game with it, and it's a really bad Pokemon. It's very slow. <laughs> but it has no weaknesses! It has no weaknesses! It's no so bad! Weaknesses. Until Gen 6, but... That's... Uh, Should've just done Sableye. All right, some more donations, please. All right, let me get back over there. So, I've got $5 here from Nest Troyer. Don't forget to move your mouse. Oh. Good <laughs> call, good call. Dude, I gotta mess it up during the glitch exhibition, and we'll be like, oh my gosh, I broke it. <laughs> uh, we're still cleaning donations from that too. Two hundred and seventy dollars in, sorry, two hundred seventy-two dollars in from anonymous. Always great to see another Pokemon run at GDQ. Here's two hundred and seventy-two dollars for my favorite jolly guy, Ludicolo. Putting this towards the glitch exhibition incentive. Let's kick cancer's butt. Yes. And a ten-dollar donation in from Swiftaloo. Swift. Swift. Oh, Swift. Hi, Etchy. I'm very excited to get to get to show Gen 4. I'm very excited you get to show Gen 4 up on stage again, but this time in person. I wanted to thank you so much for being a wonderful friend to me over the years. I always think very fondly of our small beginnings together especially. <laughs> From both of us being inspired by GDQ to speedrun to now seeing you here is truly incredible. I have so many fond memories of when we had met up at AGDQ 20 as well. Like when there were people not amused by another Swift showing up. Haha. <laughs> The work you do for Pokemon speedrunning is absolutely wonderful, and I'm sure many people appreciate it too. There's so many wonderful things I could say about you. I'm so thankful to have friends like you and May in the community. I hope to see you at the next event, and thank you as well for letting me contribute a small part to your run as well. Aww. Thank you. I'm going to cry. Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah, you so much. Swift will come up again later. We'll, we'll talk about her, but... This is Gardenia, uh, second gym leader. Literally the only... Okay, there's two technically bad things that could happen, and... 
now the second one's going to happen because I said that. But uh, the first thing, bad thing that happened is this Turtwig coming up after this Cherubi. I almost said after this Palmu. Um, the <laughs> Turtwig has uh, this move called Reflect, which is a really annoying move. Who wants to explain Reflect? Uh, doubles defense. Except yeah, it, it, it basically battles, then it's slightly different. Yeah, rather th oh, actually that's true. Yeah. Rather than increasing the defense stat of the active Pokemon, it's more of like an effect on the side. Yeah. So it increases the defense of the whole team. Full team. Yeah. Ideally, you don't see reflect at all because you just one shot here. It is 15 out of 16, yeah. which is about 94 percent. Thank Perfect. you. Uh, I've definitely multiple of my PBs have not hit that range, which again, 94 percent, not including crit chance, by the way. <laughs> uh, I love Pokemon. Pokemon Speedrun is awesome. Anyway, uh, this <laughs> this Roserade does outspeed you. Um, and we don't one-shot it either. So I'm going to leer it because it has a Citrus Berry, and uh, I just yeah. want to not activate that slower. Uh, this thing does have Poison Sting and Stun Spore. Oh, that's great. Nice. That's what you want to see. Guess for the movie, Actually, I think this is, I don't, is this a speed tie? I don't remember. Yeah. It's been a minute. Uh, but that was easy. That was that was the cleanest yeah. Gardenia that you can ask for. That's exactly what I'm trying to see. My HP looks great for the next with section. With that, we have gotten every single badge we need. Yeah, we've got yeah. all the badges. We've gotten all eight badges. Can you believe it, everybody? Wow. wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess now we should probably start introducing what's going to happen very soon. Um, I'm going to destroy the game in a second here. Not, yeah. not, we still got like 10 minutes. Yeah, but. there's still a whole other thing. Uh, essentially, th this whole run is a race to get the bike. Yep. Bike's um, really good for Pokemon speedruns, doubles yeah. your movement speed. speed and then, yeah, and then obviously that, like, it took us, you know, 48 minutes to get the first two badges with double movement speed. It'll take us 15 48 minutes. to get to the end. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, so what you're going to see after I get the bike, after I uh, defeat Jupiter in a few minutes here, is you're going to see me do this thing called tweaking. Now, I mentioned earlier, the game is basically broken up into quadrants, and uh, they're broken up by load lines. And tweaking is basically just taking a bike and going really fast and really weirdly along those load lines, on corners of those load lines, across like the just vertically or horizontally. And you'll see some of them in the uh, glitch exhibition as well. But Basically just going through them weirdly and forcing the game to load things incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want to talk too, too much about it right now, but that's just the gist. And basically with that, we're going to do uh, tweak into places we're not supposed to go and get to the Hall of Fame really fast. So, Reminder, uh, you don't have repels, by the way. Yes. You did want to shop for that. Yeah, this is actually probably the best place to do it after Jupiter, so remind me okay. after that. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and teach cut here over Ember. Cut just again. We don't catch any Pokemon in this run because we are just yep. gonna beat the game as soon as we get the bike. Uh, it's I don't nice need to also just learn every HM required on the Monferno. Yeah, super convenient. Because um, I don't. Yeah, because Piplup doesn't learn Rock Smash at least in Platinum. Uh, Primplup does, but Piplup does yeah. not. So uh, this is another section where I'm in now in the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. Like I said, uh, the guy who runs the bike shop is now being held hostage by Jupiter, uh, the person I was talking about earlier, one of the Team Galactic commanders, like Mars. And we're just going to go beat her, but before we just do that, I have to fight four trainers. Um, it's not really too much to talk about for this, except I used the wrong move. Oh. <laughs> Great, maybe? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Totally. Time save, because cut is less text than <laughs> playing wheels. It's so. short, ta short move now. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Anyways, lucky is not a crime. That was my. <laughs> that that is uh honestly, I don't deserve that after the Perugly crit, but it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I make that mistake all the time because uh, cutting the worm pole, not this next worm pole, but the other worm pole is uh, technically optimal. So I sometimes just accidentally cut that Zubat. But while I do these fights, Could you let's see if cut and missed. That'd be funny. Yeah. You can miss, and uh, it's really sad when that happens. But let's see more donations. You want more donations? I do. I got more donations. Let's go with $15 from Really Sentinel. What does Nurse Joy give Pokemon for their allergic reactions? Bina Drill. Ah. $15 for B Drill, number 15. Shout out to my IRL Nurse Joy watching this run with me before she has to leave for her overnight shift. We've got $434 from Mott Nick, sending in a donation for my favorite Pokemon, Stunky. Thanks for the good time this week from the crowd, and thank you for raising money for a cause that has grown closer to my heart these past few months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. 
I've also got a $75 donation from Anonymous. We are so close to $1 million and halfway to Halo Legendary. Let's speed run both together and make it happen. And yes, checking in on that Halo Legendary, we are almost at $60,000 out of the $117,000 that we need to get that met. So please keep those donations please. coming. Please. Now that we've hit yep. the glitch exhibition, please help make that happen. I would really yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Like, you, you do not want to miss it. For it sure. it's, it's Obviously, it's a very different game than this, but it is a ridiculous showcase watching Halo yeah. on Legendary. Yeah, an equally broken game as well. It's a yeah. very cool speedrun. So here's the Wurmple I'm going to use. Cut on. <laughs> I'm definitely going to hit and not miss because I got really lucky earlier. So... <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to actually use Cut on both Wurmples, but I didn't realize this one's level 12 and the other one's level 13, so I totally, like, thought it was safe, and I never... I, I like, never did it not defeat it with Cut until, <laughs> like, one of my runs a week ago. Where I definitely found out I wasn't supposed to use cut there. I'm not going to get the crit this time. I mean, I, I, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, oh that was <laughs> well. Now I have no to cut way. again. Well, unfortunately, cut again. yeah, I got to go for it. Okay, whatever. Anyways, you uh, want to just cut the last one just because it's yeah. working out for you? Well, this is a Zubat now. I'm not going to mess around with the Zubat because that's, that's actually fair. Do very bad slow things, but uh, yeah, I, basically the other Zubat, the other worm pulls like a 15 out of 16 range. And I just never miss that ever, except I miss the Turtwig 15 out of 16 every day of my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if you're wondering why cut over Flame Wheel, which is the guaranteed KO, it's the super effective text. Yeah. Just trying to avoid it. Yeah, and cut is way less text than Flame Also Wheel, true. So. I love Saves you like two seconds. I love Gen 4 text. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's do some more donations before we get into Jupiter. Donations coming. I've got $7.12 from Akko. Donating for number 712, Bergamite. He's such a little guy, and I am a certified so Bergamite true. witch. For real? <laughs> I've got $704 from Antonio. Oh. Have to represent my favorite number 704, Gumi. That's my nickname for my dog. Aww. Aww. And you know Gumi. New, dona wow. new donation challenge. Is it a Pokemon, or is it a nickname for Sh uh, Shout's dog? <laughs> <laughs> or your own pets. Like Yeah. Yeah. That works too. Uh, Two hundred dollars from Spider C. Aww. Is this Chimchar Rapid Strike or Single Strike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I play a lot of Pokemon TCG. That's a TCG reference. Uh, we may or may not talk about it later in GDQ, but yeah. Uh, so this is Jupiter has a Zubat, which once again, guess what this range is? Can I hear from the crowd? Fifteen out of sixteen. Uh, it has Wing Attack. You don't want to get hit by that. So we're just gonna not get unlucky. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, this gun tank is super annoying, but I want everyone to carefully listen to the cry of this Pokemon. It's my favorite in the entire series. <laughs> Dude, etiquette gross. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even realize the menu popped up. I wasn't supposed to leer there, but this is fine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this thing has Screech, Smoke Screen, Night Slash, which is a high crit chance move. And on top of all that, um, Likes to just waste your time. So there's smoke screen. That's pretty bad, especially because now I have to hit another time because I leered instead of flame whale. So I have to leer again here. I hit, okay. so that's fine. So I just gotta hit one more time. Please stop. Please, I don't want to be stuck here. Ooh, this is some, this is some sand attack gaming. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. This is fine. I'm not. I'm not. Ah, stop. It's a little less fine. <laughs> I technically. Hey, you're, you're in place. It's fine. Uh -oh. It's not fine. Uh -oh. It's not so fine. Range. Cool. I have to just go for it now. Yeah, like, you yeah. have to. Oh, okay. let's go. Okay. Ooh. 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 I am the luckiest gamer <laughs> here. Uh, so fun fact with Gen 4 Poison, unlike our previous gens, your Pokemon can't get fainted from running in the overworld. It'll just survive with 1 HP. So we're just going to let the poison ticks happen. I apologize in advance because it's a really annoying visual and sound. So... Uh, don't worry, it'll go away quickly. Yeah, you, only have you, don't, have a, you don't have a single antidote? There's no point in using it. It's time loss. Uh, oh, I yeah. will get the repel after this. You have to uh, menu anyways. No, I don't. There's no more menus because of uh, tweaks. So, yeah, so. But the, uh, the repel. You're not going to make it to the that's shop way later. by the time the poison gets uh, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way The repel is like way after the tweaks. It's so, only 14. Tick. Oh, right. It'll the, be oh, right. Fine. The poison wears off. Never mind. Yes. Okay. Explaining what happens here. Um, I have to go get the Explorer Kit, otherwise you can't leave town. And the Explorer, kit, Explorer Kit's actually relevant for the glitch stuff I'm going to show, but we're not actually going to see it, but one of the save piles have like, prepped it. Um, and then after we get the Explorer Kit, we get our bike, and then we're going to break the game. So, Poem is the Poisoning. Right. Yay. I forgot it does that. Never. So, um, oh, I see. again, I kind of mentioned how tweaking works. What you're going to see is I'm going to go through Cycling Road, I'm going to do multiple different tweaks. 
Uh, one of which is really hard, but I've gotten pretty good at it lately. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. I kind of jinx it. But uh, I'm going to do a multiple set of tweaks, and I'll actually go through them pretty slowly because we're doing really well in time here. Uh, I'll go through them pretty slowly and try to explain like the load lines and what's about to happen, what you're going to see. Um, two of the tweaks are easy because Cycling Road, if anyone remembers from any of the Pokemon games, uh, you kind of naturally have momentum if you're going in the direction it wants you to go in. Uh, but because I deload like the map weirdly, uh, I actually don't get that momentum for the second one. It makes it way harder. So I'll do that in a second. So I'm going to get on the bike here by using the bike stand. And the point of doing these tweaks is to skip a Lucas cutscene where he gives you... Uh, 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 what's that Don't thing Don't forget called? to save it here. Yes. Yeah. Um, a thing, too, is if if, um, if this category interests you and you watch the, the tweaks that uh, Etch is about to do and you're like, wow, these look really hard, there is an easier one you can do that is slightly yeah. slower. And this then one, you can... All these tweaks I'm doing right now are completely optional. You can just take the cutscene and you lose yeah. 45 seconds. It's totally yeah. fine. And then you just do the other version of it and then it, the other one's actually quite easy. So I'm doing a so. reload here because I have to reload the game at some point before uh, I do the, the, the game-breaking tweaks. So, like I said, I'll try to take this kind of slowly. Um, so I'm going to go down here. So this first tweak, basically right below me, there's a load line. Um, and if I go up and down that load line really fast, then I will kind of deload the next area. But also, it'll still kind of be loaded because the NPCs will still be there, but the road will not be. <laughs> so It'll gonna... be immediately obvious. Uh, that was kind of bad. Oh, And the reason I saved is because it's very easy to crash the game. So yeah, there's, there we there's go. the road. And it's it gone. Begins. <laughs> uh, so now this next tweak, this is the hard one. So I gotta go over here and you go down, up, down. So there's basically a load line right above where I am and a load line to the left. So I'm going like zigzag kind of through them, and it's gonna make the next section deload weirdly. Uh, that was one tile off. One tile off. Nope. I jinxed it. I told you I would jinx it. And one tile off. Okay, so this next part, same thing. Uh, I'm just going to... This one I have cycling road momentum, so I'm going to go all the way to the left to make sure Lucas does not see me, and we are now in Orberg City. Yep. Uh, yep. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that repel, that repel really quickly. Oh, this does mean I have to menu. I was supposed to do the repel earlier, but it's all good. Uh, oh, I can do the menu. I'll just run into uh, Orberg Gate, I guess. So I'm going to buy one repel here. This is what you pick, that you pick up that repel earlier for. It's just to get through Orberg Gate here. Uh, because you can't really, it, it, you might think, oh, just carry a manip all the way, but with cycling road tweaks, you can't really do that. <laughs> so, yeah, it'd be so impressive. Um, so I'm going to repel here. Now I can use the honey. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use the bike really quickly. Go here. Not going to run into that trainer. Going to go <laughs> through here, and we're going to go back to Jubilife and do uh, this thing called entering the void. So when I enter the void, I'm uh, basically I'm going to go through some load lines again really funkily, but much slower. It's actually, this is, again, the, the easy version of the tweak. There's a harder version yeah. you can do, but it crashes the game when I do it. So I just go like that, and suddenly the left, left side of Jubilife is here. The, the clown we've talked to earlier just gone forever, and I'm going to reload the game, or reload the graphics, and suddenly I am in the building, and now I am in the void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so this is the void. This is a uh, part of Poke Down Pokemon Diamond Pearl. This is where you're going to see me a lot in the glitch exhibition. So I'm going to keep running left here until I get to Veilstone Department Store, which is nowhere near left of Jubilee. It look like it's got a lot darker. I'm wondering if you do the mouse again. Oh, thank you. Good call. <laughs> so I do another save and quit here. Basically, the point of these save and quits is to kind of relocate my character in the void. Um, so, for example, in the glitch exhibition later, like there's a part where I go 415 steps left or something, and now I save and reload. I am technically 415 steps left of somewhere else. So I do that. I'm gonna do the same exact thing again here. I'm gonna go one left, and now we're in the Pokemon League. So that's pretty close you to the tell, end of the game. You can see Pokemon League. Wow! You can hear the music. Too. Wow! I'm gonna save and quit again. And then this time I'm gonna run to the left, and uh, we're gonna be greeted by some. Friends that uh, we have actually met. We have met both of them already. <laughs> but they know us. It's okay. Yes. Word of our accomplishments to reach them before yes. we even met them. All right. And now I am uh, entering the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so get ready that is on the time. end of the run. Yeah, get ready on time. It, time will be when uh, the screen fades to black after the Hall of Fame. And again, this is not the end. There's a glitch exhibition because, th again, this is a glitch run, but there's actually very few glitches in it. Yeah. But I'm really excited to show the glitch stuff. It's so awesome. So please, please stick around for that. Um, so time will be coming up in just a moment. Welcome to the Hall of Fame Pomo. And time. Time. Awesome. Very nice. Yes. 101. 
Dang, that's wild. With, with taking time to explain all the tweaks, too. Yeah, with, yeah. With the monitor turning on. With the monitor <laughs> turning off. Awesome, with awesome. Uh, so, yeah, while, while uh, just finish up here, I just want to do some quick shout-outs for... Um, thank you to Retire for explaining a lot of the glitch stuff for me. Help me out with that. Shout-out to the DS Speedrun community. And uh, shout-out to my community as well for uh, being so supportive of me. And I'll do a lot more shout-outs during the glitch exhibition because we have a lot of time. But I think we can just go ahead and get into that. Um, do you have that cartridge? I ready do. To go? Cool. Do the Drifloons appear in the in the Diamond Pearl credits? Yes, yeah. uh, there are Drifloons. Yes. So let me go ahead and get some cartridges. Uh, I, ba I basically just preloaded saves for all these glitches. Um, we're going to go through two cool glitches uh, that kind of comprise multiple different glitches. So the first glitch I'm going to show is called the Partner, partner Mode Glitch. Uh, and it actually leads to some, some pretty cool outcomes. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and just get into it. So I'll go ahead and... No, the drift loot. <laughs> They're so close. I <laughs> know they were so close. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Um, yeah, I have an L-shaped connector, so I have to unplug it every time because it blocks the cartridge slot. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, this is a uh, Pokemon Pearl. This time, it doesn't actually matter. And fun fact, you can actually just transfer saves between Diamond and Pearl totally fine, and nothing happens. Yep. You can also transfer saves into like Pokemon Japanese Pearl, and it still works totally fine. It's just like Korean, I think, is the only one where it actually needs like a save file conversion. Uh, but yeah, this is the partner mode glitch. So for those who remember when I was talking about Cheryl earlier, I guess we can start the timer. Yeah, now it's fine. So cool. <laughs> so uh, I mentioned partner Cheryl earlier. There's multiple different partners in the game. They're called stat trainers. Basically what it is is uh, they all have their own individual areas, and they're kind of meant to be like a cool little side quest you can do where you can uh, meet up with them. They join you in battle for the entire area. You get to do cool double battles with the trainers and wild Pokemon. And then you have to complete the objective, which is like either beating a boss or taking them to the exit. In this case, we're in Wayward Cave, which is actually right below the cycling road where we were earlier. And this is a, um, we're going to go talk to Mira, and we're going to save her from the cave and get her out of here. However, normally what happens is you take her to the exit, she leaves you forever, and then you can find her later in postgame. Uh, we're going to take her to the other, other exit where there is no script for what happens when you do that. And as a result, she will leave with us and stay with us forever and ever. So I have to do kind of a weird tweak here. I'm going to go left, right, left. Uh, a little bit more complicated. Down, left, right, left. A little bit more complicated than the other one. It's kind of hard to do, so I'll see if I can get it here. OK, there we go. And then suddenly, we're in the void again. So I'm ah, going to go up here. Our old nice. friend. I am going to break it by doing that. OK, so uh, the sub counter is super useful. I'm going to go 23 to the right. 12 up, too much. Uh, and then I will do, let me double check, make sure my, it's really easy to mess this up. I'm gonna do this thing called chunk lip dislocation here, which is just kind of reloading things. Um, very similar to tweaking where it's like moving chunks of data around, but by opening a menu out of bounds, unlike tweaking, um, it just only affects collision. So sometimes there's invisible walls in this void and by doing that, I just move them. So we're gonna go down now and suddenly we're at the end where Mira is. So we're gonna go talk to her. Just go through the wall, no big deal. Uh, you actually do Brock through walls, which is, or as I like to call it, Onyx through walls. Well, this is Mira through walls, and uh, unfortunately, I think she goes away here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty soon. And goodbye. <laughs> no. Her shadow is still here. So we're going to oh, go. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So yeah, there's a second entrance to Wayward Cave. It's like a hidden entrance. It's where you go if you want to get Gibble. And we're going to go out to that entrance by going all the way around. So I'm going to go 60 down. Repel running off totally is fine. Doesn't matter. I'm actually going to not refresh that like I was in practice earlier. Hi, trainers. Bye, trainers. Uh, I'm going to do another chunk dislocation here. Run to the right. And now here's that other exit. I'm going to reload the map again. Oh, and the then strength down. bullets are still there. Yeah, the strength bullets are there. Yep. And now we have absconded with Mira. So just proof that she's here with me. You can't use a bike when you're with a partner. So if I press Y, can't be used when you have someone with you. And I can also just get an encounter really quickly They're and prove it. Haunted. Haunted Mira. So yeah, with this glitch, you can get double battles anywhere in the game. So pretty useful for like shiny hunting. Uh, exceptions like water is a little bit weird, um, which we'll kind of go over later. But there she is. And again, full heals after all these battles too because of the nature of double battles. So that's pretty sick. And now we're going to keep going. I'm going to go ahead and repel now. Again, you can do menus. You can do basically anything and not break the glitch, uh, except for getting into a battle with a trainer. That will break it. Does that crash the game, or does that just... It just fixes it. Just fixes it, yeah. okay. I wasn't sure if they'd be confused, like, the Is double just, battles in the weird what area. What if you got into a double battle? Would that <laughs> work? I don't know. It probably, it probably just, again, undoes it. Yeah. 
Uh, although, I don't know what happens if you only have like one Pokemon. Maybe it like freaks out. <laughs> uh, so like I said, you can't use the bike, but you can't actually use the bike stands like I did earlier uh, because they didn't like account for that scenario. They didn't put bike stands in any of the areas where there's double battles, so or double partner stuff. Uh, in order to get a really cool glitch, I'm going to actually deposit everyone in my party. So the game's going to not be happy when I have these double battles. Force a double battle with only one Pokemon in my party when Mira technically shouldn't be with me. It's going to do that. And then I'm going to go on the bike and we're going to go back to Jubilife. And I'm actually going to tweak along basically the exact same load lines, but in the opposite direction. So my repel should still be up. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did it too early. Really. So I'm going to have to run out that repel, but it's fine. And unfortunately, had max repels on this file instead yeah. of like the supers <laughs> or something. This is just like a practice file that I yeah. converted into the glitch file. You can also tell every time the game's like freezing when I go through the grass like that, that's the nature, that's the result of uh, having the repel and a double battle partner, which you kind of saw earlier with Cheryl. So I need to run off this repel. Should have gotten some uh, smaller repels. <laughs> no, too early. So now we're going to see the kind of a mirrored Jubilife here. Hello. Uh, but we're actually on Route 203. So I'm going to go into here. And uh, we're actually inside the middle of the pond. I'm going to reload the map. And we're going to see something very cool here. We're going to see uh, who, who remembers Missing No? Does anyone like Missing No? Love Missing No. Cool. Uh, we're going to see Missing No's brother, son, dad. I don't know. But uh, it's called DP Box, which is kind of the glitch Pokemon of Generation 4. How come Mom also we have, you two, have dons. two Dons? <laughs> shiny, no way. Shiny, shiny, shiny DB box. Uh, uh, this is normal. This is normal. So there's <laughs> shiny DP box, uh, super rare, super valuable. It is level zero, has zero yeah. HP. Oh, I forgot to turn on animations. Hold on, let me do that. It's very important. It's you actually see, important. You to see do this. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So you're lucky you get to see it a second time. Congratulations. So One nice time for each voice. dawn. Also, if you listen closely, uh, you can hear that it is the cry of Bulbasaur, presumably just because it's the first Pokemon in the Pokedex. Hmm. Uh, so we're going to see how powerful DB Box truly is, how powerful this glitch Pokemon, because Missing Nose is really powerful, right? So I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the X attack. You cannot capture DB Box. You can get one of your own through different, different glitches. Um, you can't attack it or target it either, so the Psyduck will never hit the DB Box. Health bars are gone, but I promise you they're still there. Crit, come that on. That did so much. That actually hurt. That did a lot. All right, so my opponent, you can kind of see it there. Oh my god. <laughs> you struggle, hit for one HP. Uh, not very powerful. Everyone say goodbye to DP Box. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe ours will fare. Our, ours will do a little bit more damage. <laughs> no. no. All of the exclamation points flashing across the uh, text box is what it feels like to have anxiety, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's, uh, that's the first glitch, so. Uh, hope you all enjoyed DP Box. I love that. And the, now we're going to go to another so glitch. Good. It's so funny. <laughs> this one's a combination of sprite corruption and um, walk through walls. So Ooh. normally, like when we were all kids, right, the way you get walk through walls is you cheat. You use like action replays or whatever. Um, you can do that, though, in this game through multiple different glitches. Uh, one of the ways to get it is through glitch can canceling, where you basically just activate a menu when you're at the height of a ledge jump off a bike. Uh, but this is not that. This is a different version, which I'll explain as we get into it. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of void movement here. I'm going to go one south. So uh, crowd, if you want to count along with me while I go do these movements. So uh, I have to do a bunch of movements here. So one, two, two three. three. Oh, I did three. Oh, four, four, five. five Actually, let me, I'm going to redo it because I think I messed it up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the that pity? wasn't a bit, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I actually like, forgot to reset the counter there. So I'm going to do it again. Do you want us to do the counting bit again, just checking? Yeah, we're yes, going to I'll do it again. All right, I'll do it. Right. Sorry, perfect, sorry, perfect. Sorry, okay. so. Uh, so I go east. OK, now one, one two, two, three, three, three four, 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 five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, eight, 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 um, so f before we get into that, we can do a couple of nations in a little bit, but I also do all my shout outs during the long stretches here. Um, and again, after this glitch is done, after this part, we're going to do arbitrary code execution, which I'm really excited to talk about. I'll talk about it more later too, uh, as we do those long movements. So first I go 554 south. Again, this is all very specific intended movement. Um, it's a little early. 
So I go south. Wait, 254 or 44? That was 44 that you just won. Yeah, 544. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. You said 54 earlier, so I was just confused. Um, so I'm going to clear the counter, and I'm going to press Y, and Don will do a magic trick. Goodbye. Ah! <laughs> um, Where'd she go? So yeah, so I'm going to go one north, and then I'm going to run a little I was bit playing as Mira from earlier. Okay, she's, yeah. <laughs> she's, she turned into Mira. Yeah. Why is it keep, do you have defog available? I do not have defog. Darn, that'd be useful. Yeah, it's a little foggy in here. All good. The fog is deep south to 212. It's actually very important I don't can't, uh, change my counter here because when you use the, the poke edge, you actually get a different sprite temporarily, and that breaks what the sprite corruption <laughs> is. So I, I cannot clear the counter until I get past this part. But this glitch has a purpose. Uh, this part's just sprite corruption, so it's going to mess up all the sprites in the game. I'm going to press Y, a little flash, clear the counter, and now I get to just move south for two minutes. So. Uh, what we're doing here is, like I said, we're going to get the walkthrough walls glitch. If you see Mystery Zone, by the way, that's just a placeholder name for any normal, unexplored area that you're not supposed to go to. Hi, Rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the way you get walkthrough walls that we're going to do is by loading in Byron's gym. So Byron we didn't actually get to see in the Any% run. He is the fifth gym leader. And if you remember the, the gym from Platinum or Diamond Pearl, uh, it has these cool little platforms that can go up and down and let you go kind of like 3D. It's super cool. And basically, we're going to go through all this void stuff to enter that map. And whenever you enter Byron's gym, the game actually keeps those platforms and that, those models loaded in until you um, basically warp, like flying or something, to go somewhere else. So we're going to take advantage of that and never warp. And basically, just essentially, it's like infinite platforms are going to let us just turn off the rules of movement and let us go anywhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly. That's like the best way I could explain it without taking forever. Um, so I gotta go a little bit more south here. Let's do a couple donations right now, actually. Uh, perfect. We've got a glitch donation here, $25 from Anonymous. I tried to donate DP box dollars and it crashed my computer, so uh, <laughs> please accept this instead. Let's see. I also have a $31.20 donation from Snoring Frog. $31.20 for 10 of my favorite mouse Pokemon, Minun, as a reminder to move the mouse. Oh. oh, good call. Right? Hold on. Yeah. All right. D don't leave it there. I don't know if they uh, can see it. They cannot see it. <laughs> oh, maybe they can. They can. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but not now. It's good. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I also have uh -huh. a $50 donation from Demon Fire. Talk to your doctor before taking Loudred. Do not take Loudred if you are allergic or pregnant. Side effects may include loss of hearing, tinnitus, and splintered houses. Loudred should not be taken together with Miss Drevis. Ask your doctor if Loudred <laughs> is right for you. Thank you very much. That was Have good. you considered going into just doing those disclaimers? Oh, you think <laughs> anyone would pay me for this voice? I can yeah. only get away with this here. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is probably a good time to do a bunch of shout outs while I go through all this movement. Um, well, first of all, what I'm... Ba really quickly, you're going to see my sprite just get more and more corrupted and weirder basically every time I do a turn into a different direction. But the goal here is basically I'm just going to try to get back into the overworld pretty soon, and then we'll have fun. But big, big, big shout out to Retire. I'm going to shout him out again probably at the end. But Retired is a glitch hunter for the community and has put so much work into uh, the various Diamond Pearl Platinum games. Uh, worked really hard on getting arbitrary code execution stuff set up and uh, helped me prepare all the glitch exhibition stuff I'm doing today. So if I could get a round of applause for Attire, that would be really great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so I have to turn very shortly here. This, if you want to do this glitch yourself, by the way, this is actually just ripped entirely from one of Retire's YouTube, YouTube videos. Uh, definitely just check it out uh, on his YouTube channel. If you just look up Retire Glitch, you'll find it. One too many there, and then 865. I, this is my favorite sprite, by the way. Uh, I, I just love the way this looks. I think it's very, like, noir kind of looking. It's very, uh, I don't know, like, rainy day, shitty yeah. vibes. She yeah. walked into my room looking like a piece of bread on the ground <laughs> in a square that was kind of not really all the way there, but sort of it was. <laughs> I knew she was trouble the moment I laid eyes on her. Yep, yep, yep. I love um, like, almost looks like footsteps at the bottom, too. <laughs> I still think it looks like bread. Yeah. A uh, huge shout out to my commentators. Thank you all so, so much for being here today, by the way. I really appreciate Gray you all. Grayscale Gulpin. Thank you for having us. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, Grayscale Gulpin. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you like what you see here, I do a lot of Pokemon speedrun stuff. I also do a lot of Pokemon TCG. Uh, like I said, mostly known for like Gen 4 and uh, some of the Switch games. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Also, if you look up on YouTube, you can see that Munchlax run, that Spiritomb run, uh, any of my PBs, they're all on there. 
Uh, you can just look up Etchy on YouTube, you'll find them. If you're interested in learning the 90% speedrun, uh, I have full tutorials for it that I made a couple years ago, and they are super old, but they, they work totally fine for the route I did. It's actually the exact same manip, so you can totally just do that. Uh, they explain how the RNG manip man works, and we are now in Twin Leaf I City. I like you going, town. I'm mostly known for Gen 4 speedruns despite being the undisputed king of Let's Go. I know. <laughs> uh, so there's Fake Dawn, uh, Shadow Dawn. <laughs> This Normal is, yeah, dialogue. This is my cool oh, OC. So I can't if I get into a random encounter or a trainer battle, uh, the game will freak out. Uh, but I can do anything in this mode. I can walk through walls. A lot of the sprites are corrupted. I can go down here if I want to. Mystery zones. I can go through here. Uh, my sprite is messed up as well. I'm gonna go is all it? the way up here. Oh, it's a little messed up. Yeah, here's another dawn. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. I think there's another Dawn to my right. We're actually going to go, oh, no, there's one. Oh, there's multiple high Dawns. <laughs> high um, Dawns. <laughs> so I'm going to go up and around. I'm not going to go through the guardhouse because that's lame and it would also crash my game. I'll get this free item. I'll get this candy shirt. From the side, you're supposed to take it. Totally intended. Uh, I don't have Surf, so I'm just going to go up here. Then I'm going to go around, and we're going to see that Candlelave is not loaded in correctly at all. It's so. under development. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, oh. I entered the thing, so it's totally fine. <laughs> that was the end of it anyway. I was going to show yeah. Candlelight being broken. Yeah. Hit one of the doors and, uh, yeah, give it in like that. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to showcase here. So I just want to emphasize that uh, this is a totally normal cartridge of Pokemon Diamond. has not been modified in any way. This can be done on any cartridge of the game. Uh, again, Retire basically pre-programmed some arbitrary code execution stuff, and we're going to do a little arbitrary code execution demonstration. Uh, it was discovered by a bunch of Glitch Hunters um, basically right before BDSP came out. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, kind of a demonstration of the power. I'm not going to actually like perform it, but what you're going to see is like me executing already pre-programmed stuff. Yeah. And I'm super excited because this is like so cool how, how powerful this is and how, how much things that can be done with it. Um, if we took the time to like actually get it all set up, we would have to be here for a lot longer. Yeah. A lot longer. Uh, yeah. It would not be that entertaining to watch like Coding. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, like all the A setups for Pokemon just take so long to do. Yeah. Don't break my card. All right. So I'm going to go up here. Uh, this is just going to activate the. Don't worry about the Poke. Yeah. What's going on with the Poke? This is just going to activate the Ace that uh, we have already set up. So I'm going to go see the Hall of Fame. Do a little menu flash here and then press A and talk to this nice lady. And we're now in Candlelight where we just were earlier. Oh, okay. All right. I want to drink water so I can talk through this. Hold on. Because <laughs> this, uh, this is exciting. So, uh, this basically, Retire just made this cool little event for us. Hero, strange things have been happening on a full moon island. That is the Cresselia event. Or not yeah. event, but Cresselia Island. Would you like to investigate? Uh, chat, would you, would you like to investigate? Would you like to see what's up? What well, if they said to, no? What if we went to Iron Island? Then we can go to Iron Island. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that might actually break the game. I don't know. But we're going to go to full moon island. I don't know exactly what Retire cooked up for us here, so we'll see. He just told me to go here and uh, have fun, so. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun. Again, this is just a normal boat animation. We didn't get to see it in 90%. All right, so here we are. It's pretty normal so far. Pretty normal. Uh, that's not normal music. That's Wait, what is that? Cool. Is, is that, that? Is that a truck? That is a, that is a truck. I heard the Cynthia music, and I thought we were about <laughs> to get locked into an encounter. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Undela Town moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I don't know what to do with this, though. Uh, I don't know. I have always heard that you could find Mew under the truck. That's true. I mean, it's not that original, is it? <laughs> I don't, I don't I, think. I, I think feel like that's been. I feel like that's been done. Yeah, maybe maybe that might be what Retire wants you to do. I don't well, know, see if you can use strength on it. Maybe, yeah. 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 A soft cry can be heard from underneath the truck. Would you like to use strength? How? Okay. 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 Oh, I mean, sure. Strength. Shout out to Bibberol. Shout out to Bibberol. All right, I didn't move. What? What? You really thought you'd find it? Okay. Under this? okay. All right. All right. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay. What was that? All right. That was worth. That was worth a try. Here we go. Oh, wait. What uh, is happening? That's neat. Uh, uh, that's a little. Well, don't go in that. Okay. <laughs> you better just run away. <laughs> yeah. Just. Uh, uh, what's the camera doing? I don't think I don't the camera is supposed to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep running away. I don't want to leave because I'll feel bad. So I just. I know. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Yeah. Oh. oh. What is that? What, what is that? Is that like a Mega Pidgeot? It kind of looks like a Mega Pidgeot. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Pan Sage. <laughs> Pan Sage? <laughs> uh, yes. My oh favorite my uh, prescription drug, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll talk to it. Yeah. How dare you wake me Velo oh, velocity? Oh, velocity. Velocity. How dare you wake me velocity from my slumber? 
I'll make you pay. Why for is this. velocity so mean? Oh! Whoa. 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 What, okay. a, what ability does velocity so you have five? five? <laughs> oh my god. Um, right. I don't know if you're prepped for this. We'll weaken it. We'll try to catch it. We'll Agil that. Okay, that, that checks out. <laughs> My Empoleon's really powerful, so... Uh, oh, that's all it did. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, it, it has speed, speed boost. <laughs> Velocity's an OU. Got it. Okay. All right. And it has extreme, extreme speed. speed. Yeah. Oh, my God. That seems... Ow. Oh, is that a crit? That does a lot. That does so much. <laughs> no, that just did that much. It's just I'm that steel much. type. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is 155 levels higher than you. All right. I'm just going to catch it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you have a Master Ball. Oh, oh, Tyra didn't not. give me a Master Ball. That's cool. I'm sure it'll get in, right? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we don't know what Velocity's catch chance is. It could just be maxed out. Sure. Or catch rate. Oh. Let's go. Okay, uh, okay. Hooray. I'm going to tell you, this is really confusing for that game of is it a GDQ mascot or a Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> we won't nickname Velocity. It's all good. Oh. Oh, hi. Hero. I don't think the Pokedex supports the mythical being Velocity. I'm afraid you won't get credit. Also, <laughs> glitches are lame and ruined speedrunning. It's an unfair advantage <laughs> for the runner. Bad etchy. <laughs> anyway, credits to Retire Glitch for the arbitrary code execution demo and Swiftaloo for the artwork. Thanks and have fun, everyone at GDQ. I'll be watching from home. I hope you all have a great time. Thank you so much, Retire, for that. That was awesome. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Retire put so, so much work into this. It took uh, a ridiculous amount of programming and effort to make this happen. Thank you so, so much. And, uh, Big shout out to Swift for doing all the art. For yeah, this. Swift yep. did all the art for both velocities. I lied. I knew what was going to happen if you didn't. You know. <laughs> um, but yeah, final shout outs. Thank you all so, so much again for donating. Uh, I really appreciate it. Again, shout out to my mom for. Uh, my, I, I mentioned this during my pot run too. My mom's a cancer survivor, one of my biggest motivations, and uh, so proud of her and everything she's gone through over the last seven years. So I'm really glad we can uh, raise money for a cause that's so close to me twice now, uh, once for Pokemon Platinum a couple years ago, and then again here. So big shout out to her. I'll have to show her this VOD and explain what speedrunning is later. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> a big, again, if you want to watch more of my stuff, twitch.tv slash etchy, please drop me a follow. And uh, any last shout outs from you guys? Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having Check us. Check out Etchy. He's great. Yes. Thank you so Definitely. much. Yeah, thank you again, GDQ. Appreciate it. And uh, keep, keep watching.